Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Taboo Marketing, a video blog that exposes the whole truth about marketing. My name is Elmira and this is Delia. We're actually sisters, both marketers, and here on a mission to unmask the most common but yet unspoken realities that marketing faces. This past week has been a roller coaster of events. No matter where you are in the world, there is a lot of panic, anxiety, and fear. While businesses are at risk short-term and long-term, depending on the type of organization you're in, they all jump to strategize and shift their priority and adapt to the new realities. There has been a lot of criticism towards marketing and sales for going about business as usual and sending out their regular scheduled communications. There's definitely been a lot of angry email responses, a lot of phone call hangups, and worst of all, a lot of social media backlash. So we already put out a blog uh, this past week on things to do and things not to do during pandemic and we'll provide the link to the article down below. We wanted to share with you types of approaches and communications that we came across as customers and thought were effective. So we wanted to share that experience with you. So whether you're in marketing or in sales or any role within the revenue team, tune in and let's get started. One of the most effective things that we've seen in the past week were actually communications, be that a phone call or an email where companies address the situation. But it was still odd to see some sales speech through the email or phone call or even a webinar invite where companies completely disregarded the today's reality. Personally, it made me feel uncomfortable and I completely ignored those providers. Considering the situation is still continuous, we need to ensure that we are aware of it, we're actually being compassionate and caring, and truly to relate to our audience today. Another thing that really stood out, that some brands actually acted really human. The most impactful thing that we've seen, there were the videos from C-level executives, where they were addressing the situation with their customers and employees, and letting them know that they're doing everything they can to keep their businesses under control and that they're here for them. It seemed that the audience was more receptive to this kind of empathetic videos than to just regular marketing polished messaging. Brands that were the real heroes in the past week were the brands that would actually able to shift their priorities and impact the situation directly, whether it be health, social, or economic. And a perfect example being Louis Vuitton shifting their priorities and starting to manufacture hand sanitizers. But there is a fine line there. Actually directly being able to help the situation versus creating a PR spin that aims to help the situation is different. Some brands use the pandemic spin as a sales hook to gain attention from their customers and that really negatively impacted their brand. And it's okay if your organization can find a creative way to directly impact the situation, as long as you're honest and transparent about it. So when your communications just directly address the new reality and let your customers know, hey, we're still trying to maintain and operate our business so we make sure our employees still have their jobs and our existing customers are still being served. And the last effective tactic that we thought was really good it's the companies sharing other companies' stories. As Delia said, it's actually okay not to be able to contribute to today's situation because we're all new to it. But I think it's really great to reshare those stories of your customers, partners, or employees, be that where they're contributing to the community or maybe sharing the experiences from the past where they dealt with natural disaster. The more we share this kind of stories, the more we all learn and it might spark new ideas across different organizations. Granted, fear and anxiety generates a lot of judgment and a lot of marketing and sales departments were criticized this past week for being insensitive. But I think as humans, we have to be a little more understanding and a little more lenient as we're all trying to learn how to navigate this new reality. So unless someone is trying to sell you toilet paper for 50 bucks a roll, maybe be a little bit more understanding towards that person and realize that they're also trying to learn how to do their job in today's uncertain world. It seems like the common denominator and the theme of all the examples that we shared today was the human element. Whether it's a corporate communication or an individual outreach, 
the more human, open and transparent and empathetic you are towards your customers, the more open they're going to be towards your communications and your outreach efforts. We ourselves are also learning how to adapt to this new reality. We'll keep sharing with you our takes and findings with you all. But we also would love to hear from you on what type of marketing that you observed in the past week that really resonated with you. Please share with us. We hope that you're staying safe and healthy and taking care of yourself and your loved ones during these unpredictable times. We're sending you lots of love and lots of positive energy and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.